So there's a one kilohertz sine wave. Nothing too special about it, except how we made it with our Arduino. Hey, what's happening, guys? You know, I'm always looking for ways to do things for the least amount of money. There's no reason that you know you and me, the guy in, in the home lab need to spend a fortune on electrical testing tools. So I'm liking this Finrizzi um, oscilloscope. I've had it for about a month or so. So I did a little review on it. And I think for the home guy, it's gonna work out just fine. Now, one of the other pieces of test gear that you're gonna need, you know, is a signal generator some way to inject signals into your circuits to see how they're behaving and yeah you, know, you can make a simple square wave generator with arduino no problem at all but when you want to uh move to different things such as triangle waves or or sine waves it gets difficult with arduino because it doesn't have a digital to analog uh, output i mean there are ways to do it but it becomes difficult I like to do it easily and cheaply, and we're doing that here today using this little breakout board here for the AD9833, which is a direct digital signal generator. And you can see it only needs three wires to plug into the Arduino. And we can generate some really nice signals with it. And I bought this from Amazon, and I'll put a link to it down below. Cost $8.19. I've added a potentiometer here, which you can see we can control our frequency with it. I've got it set for 1K to 10K. It's good from, I mean, the AD9833 is good for uh, about 1 hertz up to 12 and a half megahertz using the internal clock on it. So let's take a look here at how I've got this uh, connected. It's not very hard at all. I'm going to unplug this and uh, turn it around so you guys can see it a little bit better. So there's the breakout board itself. And you can see we have some pins. We have reference VCC, which is connected to the 5 volt on the Arduino. Ground is connected to ground. Now data is connected to um, pin 11. Right, 11, yes, 11, which is the SPI MOSI pin, master out, slave in. And the clock pin is connected to uh, Arduino pin 13, which is the S clock pin for Arduino. And then we have this FNC pin here, and that's going to pin 4. You can connect it to anything you want, any digital pin. Then I have this potentiometer over here. And its output is going to uh, analog pin zero on the Arduino so that we can vary the rate, the frequency of our output. Now, I've also got three buttons over here. I don't have them implemented yet, but that is going to be to allow us to switch between uh, square wave, triangle wave, and sine wave. Let's hook this back up here real quick. You can see it's uh, really easy to hook it up and get it working. So let's go over to the computer and take a look at the code that makes this go. Okay, the first thing to note is we're using the Billy Williams 1952 AD9833 Arduino library and I'll put a link to it down below but you can see it up here it is at github.com slash Bill Williams 1952 slash AD9833 hyphen library hyphen Arduino and all you have to do here is come over here to code download the zip and install it into your IDE no problem at all now what I did is I started off with his example code called apply signal. And you have uh, the one include here which is the AD9833 library. 
and then we have a define here for whatever pin we're using to control it or in this case we're just using pin 4 which is what he set up and you can see here it says SCK and MOSI must be connected to clock and data pins on the 9833 so that we have some SPI communication going on then we actually create our object here which is called uh, gen from the AD9833 and it's using that function pin now here's where I start adding things in I've created two variables one called rate which is our initial rate and then pot which is how we're going to read that potentiometer we have our setup here which begins with generator begin and it's going to apply a signal here so we have generator apply signal and it's going to start with a sine wave on register zero at whatever rate and then we have our rate here which is set for a hundred then we turn it on generator enable output true that turns on our output I've set pin mode a zero to input and I always use serial for my debugging then down here we're going to do an analog read of a zero to see what position the pot is in and then we're going to set up rate which is going to be our frequency we're going to map it to the read of that pot the pot can read from 0 to 1023 and we're going to set it from 1000 1 kilohertz to 10 kilohertz again if we look up here you can see that it is good for 0 to 12.5 megahertz and then we simply uh, say generator apply signal in this case we're doing a sine wave register 0 and our rate and that's really all there is to the code. It's really pretty simple. So this is just the beginnings of my project. I'm going to switch this over now to a uh, triangle wave. It'll take a couple seconds. Once it's uh, uploaded, it's compiling the sketch right now. Now it's uploading. And then we should be able to switch over to a triangle wave. There you go. You can see we have a triangle wave. And now I'm also going to switch it over to the square wave. Give me one second. Okay, it's going to compile and change this over next to a square wave. Uploading. And there you see we have our square wave. So it is very capable. I have to implement the buttons to switch between the waveforms and I think I am also going to throw in an OLED to show frequency and wave type if you guys are interested so let me know if you want to see that in an upcoming video and we'll do that if not I'll just let it go at that so I will put links down below to my code, uh, purchase link for the AD9833, and also a link to the library that you need. Now, I'm doing this with an Uno. You can very easily do it with any Arduino, a Nano, a Pro Micro, Mega, whatever you want. So let me know if you guys are interested in this, and we'll take it up and we'll work it up. We'll put in the OLED. We'll, we'll switch over, be able to switch the different... Uh, waveforms and maybe even put it onto a PCB. Let me know what you think. And if you enjoyed this video, I hope you give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all my patrons who make this channel possible. Big thanks to you for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace. Okay, Paul, the minions are watching and here goes the second test. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one.